thought you quit smoking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some, some guys you just can't trust. <laughs> I said I was uh, ready to die recently, you know, and I think I was exaggerating. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one is given to self-dramatization from time to time. <laughs> I intend to live forever. <laughs> I think that any songwriter, and uh, I think that Bob Dylan knows this more than all of us, uh, you don't write the songs anyhow. So um, if you're lucky, you can keep the vehicle healthy and uh, responsive over the years. If you're lucky, uh, your own intentions have very little to do with this. You, you can keep uh, the body as uh, well-oiled and uh, receptive as possible, but whether you're actually going to be able to go for the long haul is really not your own choice. We're actually not that tight of family, but... <laughs> I, I've expressed my gratitude to my son uh, many times, and uh, his career is far from undistinguished, and uh, it was a great uh, privilege to have someone of this skill uh, bringing this album to conclusion. You know, things, if you're lucky, uh, things deepen uh, between members in a family. If you're not lucky, they don't. Uh, if you're unlucky, they uh, deteriorate. Uh, I've been lucky. Uh, I have uh, close relationships with my few friends and my family members and my, and my grandkids. So, uh, so far so good. Uh, I hope it continues to deepen. I have every faith that it will. I mean, nothing in this racket makes any sense to me, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Uh, I, I, I've often said if I, if I knew where the good songs came from, I'd go there more often. <laughs> you know, everybody has a kind of uh, magical system. You're a writer yourself. Everyone has a kind of magical system that they employ in the hopes that this will uh, open up the channels. Uh, my mind was always very cluttered, so I took great pains to simplify my environment because if my environment were half as cluttered as my mind, I wouldn't be able to make it from room to room. <laughs> so I can't really give you, it's a good question, but I can't really give you a coherent answer because I don't really, this system has worked for me. Uh, e you know, even though I've had to sweat over every word, it's just my style. Some people, it comes faster, some people it comes slower. Yeah, the fact that my songs uh, take a long time to write is no guarantee of their excellence. <laughs> it's just, it's just the way it, it just takes a long time for me. Um, I'm very slow and uh, I'm happy, you know, it comes kind of by dribbles and <laughs> drops. Um, some people are graced with uh, flow. Uh, some people are graced with uh, something less than a flow. I'm, I'm one of those. We're actually not that tight of family, but... <laughs> I, I've expressed my gratitude to my son uh, 
many times and uh, his career is far from undistinguished and uh, it was a great uh, privilege to have someone of this skill uh, bringing this album to conclusion. You know, things, if you're lucky, uh, things deepen uh, between members in a family. If you're not lucky, they don't. Uh, if you're unlucky, they uh, deteriorate. Uh, I've been lucky. Uh, I have uh, close relationships with my few friends and my family members and my and my grandkids. So, uh, so far so good. Uh, I hope it continues to deepen. Uh, I have every faith that it will. I don't really know the genesis, the origin. That um, Hineni, that uh, declaration of readiness, no matter what the outcome, that's uh, a part of everyone's soul. Uh, we all, we all are motivated by deep impulses and deep appetites to serve, even though we may not be able to locate that which we are willing to serve. Uh, so this is just a part of my nature, and I think everybody else's nature, uh, to uh, offer oneself uh, at the moment, at the critical moment, when uh, the emergency uh, becomes articulate. It's only when the emergency becomes articulate that we can locate that willing, that willingness to serve. I've never thought of myself as a, uh, a religious person. Uh, I don't have any uh, spiritual strategy. Uh, I kind of uh, limp along like uh, so many of us do in these uh, realms. Uh, occasionally, uh, I've felt the grace of uh, another presence in my life, uh, but I can't build a, uh, uh, any kind of spiritual structure on that. So um, I always, I feel that this is a vocabulary that I, that I grew up with. This biblical landscape is uh, very familiar to me. And uh, it's natural that I use those landmarks uh, as references. Once they were universal references and everybody understood and knew them and locate them, that's no longer the case today, but it is still my landscape. I try to make uh, those references. Uh, I try to make sure that they're not too obscure. Uh, but outside of that, uh, I can't, I dare not claim anything in, in the spiritual realm uh, for, for my own. <laughs>